Hello guys, welcome to the Brainstorming Code YouTube channel. This is your friend and instructor for this video, Abhishek. I hope you guys are doing well. So in this video, we are going to learn about how the Java work internally. So yeah, let's get started. Whenever you write any Java program that you need to save the program with .java extension. This file will be human readable format, but you know that the machine understand only binary format. So to make your machine understand it, it should be go to the through two stages. First one is compilation stage. And second will be interpretation stage. Let's talk about first what is uh, what inside the compilation stage. Here input will be dot Java class. It accept the input as a dot Java class and output will be dot class file. In this step, that is compilation, it will check for the syntax and rules. It will translate your .java file into the .class file. So any violation in the syntax or rule will give us compile time error, right? Now the compilation stage is over and now let's talk about the interpretation stage. So the, for the interpretation, the input will be dot class file and the output will be the binary number. Right? Here the output will be the binary format. In the interpretation, few things that takes place, it will execute the program it will read the program right it will execute the program it will going to read the program line by line and it will go in and it will going to translate the dot class file into the into the binary uh, binary format and any violation in the execution will going to give us runtime error right any volition in, in the execution will going to give us a runtime error. Inside the interpretation, there are JDK, JRE, JVM, JIT. So we are going to learn this thing in detail. Now let's go and first discuss about this JDK. It comes in picture if you want to develop a Java application and Java program. JDK is the combination of JRE. So this JDK is combination of JRE JRE plus JRE plus development tools. So development tool includes compiler, debugger tools, etc. And if you install JDK, then JRE comes with it. We do not need to install JRE separately. In our YouTube channel, we already uploaded the installation process of JDK. If you want to install JDK in your laptop, please watch that video. Now let's go and talk about JRE. JRE is, JRE is nothing but the combination of JVM JRE is nothing but the combination of JVM plus library classes. It provides the environment to run any program. Since the Java is a machine independent language, whenever you want to run the Java program, then runtime environment should be installed and your dot class, will, dot class file will be going to execute. So let's go and talk about this JVM. Like Roti, Kapra and Makan is important uh, in human life. Same, JVM is the most important and we can say it is the heart of the J Java. So let's uh, talk more about the JVM. So J it is important for executing and running your code. It takes input of dot class file or byte code and convert it in into machine code. And then machine code will finally going to execute. 
JVM is the main reason for Java is platform independent guys. Please uh, note this JVM is the main reason for Java is platform independent. Now let's go and uh, talk about this JIT. It is nothing but just in time compiler. It convert dot class file to binary number. And this binary number will be given to operating system that is in OS and OS will run the program and finally you will uh, see your output on the screen. Now let's go and discuss the whole process in short. So whenever we write any program in Java, we have to save program with dot Java extension, right? Now this program will go into the compilation phase. And it will check for the syntax and the rules. If they if there are any violation in the syntax and rules, it will going to give us compile time error. Now it will translate your dot Java class into dot class file. Now dot class file will be given to interpretation phase. In the phase execution of program take place any violation in the execution will give us runtime error and it will translate your dot class file into the binary uh, binary uh, file and the binary file will give into os and os will run the program and finally you can see your output now let's go and discuss this process practically so for that I will open my VS code and here I already created one Java program and you can see here this file have dot Java extension right as we have seen in this uh, video there is two phases to run any Java program first phase is compilation so here our dot java file will going to convert into dot class file for that open your terminal and write java c space your uh, java class name that is, for my case it is app so i will write app dot java now i will click enter now you can see here app.class file is created. So we can say the compilation phase is over. So now the next phase is interpretation phase. Here dot class file will going to convert into the binary file. For that, write Java, Java and your class name that is app. Now I will click enter. Now you can see I got an output as a hello world. Yeah guys we are done with how the Java works internally. If you watch this video till end please do like share and subscribe.